Every pet deserves a home. A furry friend is just waiting for you. We love doing the Pet of the Week segment on KIMA with help from all the great people at the Yakima Humane Society. The work paying off winning the March Mutness National Championship. Tell me, are you basking in the glow of being a national champion? Absolutely. Everybody here is super excited about the fact that the community really came out for us and we are just still overwhelmed by all the support we got. We actually ended up with over $130,000 that is going to go directly into our spay and neuter fund. That is going to open up more days at our spay and neuter clinic for the public so that we can get so many more animals spayed or neutered. We're talking an extra 40 a day. So that makes a huge impact, I think, on the community and the overpopulation that we're facing. There you go, congratulations. It's awesome. I know the cat is very excited about it. <laughs> This is Maggie. Maggie came in after she was surrendered. Um, someone found her and had her for several months, but they couldn't care for her and they had an injury um, and she had an injury. <laughs> so it was very complicated. Maggie came in and she was not using one of her legs. So we sent her to our spay and neuter clinic. Sadly, it was an injury that just couldn't be repaired. But luckily, Maggie's got three other legs, so she had an amputation and is doing amazing. She loves it here in our catio. She's very social, as you can see. She's about three years old, already spayed, and just ready to go home. What can she not do? I don't think Maggie can not do anything. Okay. She is a little off balance as she's still adjusting, but she traverses this room and an outdoor catio just fine. We recommend that she be an indoor-only cat if you don't have a safe catio fenced in area just to protect her from predators or other animals that it can be a little bit faster than her. She didn't lose any love, right? No, she's so affectionate and loves getting so much attention here in the catio.